Okay, here's a question that we haven't even asked yet. What is farming? <laughs> We've been talking about it all this time, and I've wanted to get certain principles, certain explanations in so that there is a certain common understanding between you and I, at least, before we even ask the question. In this simple context, farming is just you planting a certain amount of, of a seed, one type of seed, and mass to create a benefit. And that's really all it is, and it, it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that from a, a viewpoint of understanding. However, if we're going to put it into the context of what we're doing here, biodynamic and organic and, and all the guidelines that are associated, it might be something more like uh, it's a sensible, well thought out and planned system of planting seeds of certain varieties, known varieties and mass in ground which has been conscientiously prepared and planned and well thought out for the subsoil to receive these seeds for some benefit. And the benefit is going to be possibly uh, your nutrition, uh, supply for your family and your loved ones, your circle, uh, for income, uh, for benefit just to the community, for free, for exchange, for goods and services, or just for the fact that people can, maybe can't afford food and you're helping them out. Uh, there's many reasons to have a farm. But uh, the most strategic and most successful ones I find out are the ones that have been planned over time and that have gone through, uh, and I have to bring in a, a sympathy for myself here. It's not easy to teach tar uh, farming because of these factors I'm about to introduce. Farming tends to change, the reality of it tends to change for each one of us in each of our cases over time. We will see situations that we can't teach situations that will occur only to our situation, our context, factors that get thrown in uh, that we run, a, a run against and we have to do something about. Certain insects will invade. Certain sites, sorts of diseases will be in the air, in, in the water bacteria. Uh, certain sorts of plants we, we may want to plant that are not valid for planting in other ecosystems. So we all have unique things that we will bring to the farming context um, that we cannot share in a commonality uh, throughout the world. And this is uh, therefore leaves us all to some degree as individual farmers to learn on our own. Uh, a course like this attempts to handle as much of those details in as much detailed context as possible, but it is not possible to cover all possibilities of all farms everywhere in the world in one course or even in a series of courses. So I'm going to attempt to cover several ecosystems in the course of teaching this course, not just being in Ladakh or not just being in Thailand, um, but Nepal and Korea and other types of ecosystems so I can talk about the specifics of being in those areas. Even having said that, those contexts are not necessarily going to cover your arrangement, your context, and your unique things that are happening in your farm. And I apologize for that, although it is no, no fault of my own. It's just something that uh, you must be aware of if you're going to take on farming and enjoy and embrace farming and learn about it and become better at it. It's like any other subject in the world, isn't it? Uh, we get all of us much better at everything we do if we, if we give it a go for over certain periods of time, certain seasons, we become experienced farmers. And that is also what farming is, is the learning of a place, the learning of a context, the learning of an ecosystem for your own benefit and for that of your community.